आई थर्ड आई डू अ क्विक वॉक थ्रू थ्रू सम ऑफ माई जर्नल्स आई एम एक्चुअली वेरी हैप्पी विथ हाउ दीज दीज हैव टर्न प्लीज गिव मी सो मच ऑफ सैटिस्फैक्शन एंड फोर्ट मी टू दोज टाइम्स इन द पास्ट वैन वी हैड सो मच ऑफ फन दीज कंसिस्ट ऑफ हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी जी एस एम पेपर एंड द कवर इलास्ट्रेशन वॉज समथिंग दैट आई डन लास्ट ईयर एंड आई हैड अ कपल ऑफ दीज स्टिल इन माई इन्वेंट्री and a lot of us have started dabbling into art with all the mm, uh, time that uh, you know they can uh, spend and i thought that these would make um, you know special gifts during the lockdown so journals um, that i create are meant to be very functional it should be used a lot like you have to look through what you've uh, through the pages that you've completed and that should inspire to make your next page so all the handling what might happen is that uh, say a journal like this um uh, might become a little uh, uh, unclean since the cover the back cover is white and then you know the cover is like what i've done here is i've taken a brown wrapping paper and painted these poppies all over as you can see Uh, uh you know i took some prints on photo paper and if you have a polaroid camera or um and uh, you know one of those insta click cameras where the print is like a polaroid those work perfectly well since i don't i you know this was my best next option next on the next page i have the same poppies from the uh, cover and then i have a flap here with some brown paper where i have inserted this letter It's an origami letter. This goes neatly inside this flap. Prints. I've taken prints of my paintings, and the, and then I've just cut them out and laid them so that you know uh, they make a beautiful page. And then I've uh, you know used the space between the pages to write a message. Um, these are some of the best practices and be referred to. to make the best or the and the most or out of this journal this is again a print from one of my illustrations which i've taken a print and i've pasted on this page um so here i've done something really cute i love doing these so what i've done is i've cut out a uh, a piece of brown paper so inside i have a cute little note for my friend and here uh so a bit of background about my friends um so when i was doing my mba eventually they were all married so then it's it's like a bonus for me that my roommate and my best friend are both married so this note over here is for my friend um so i have a cute little pocket here Frankly I was bored of making just the just the name tags like like so so I made a cute pocket here and there's a tag with the name of my friend and there's a note for him inside um this is an artwork I had done on a flight um when I was going home from the packaging of the sandwich that I ordered on flight this is my friend's birthday this makes so much sense these are the only pages that i filled um for this journal for my friend i have not really filled the whole journal with prompts or with calendars or things to do but um i surely hope that my friend will find this super inspiring and that she um will take to journal to uh, see her dreams and her visions uh, for her own life uh, materialize um, as a result of of you know them being in the journal so i am going to move on to this next journal that i have so this is for an aunt just before the covid uh, pandemic started i um been fortunate to have spent um some time with them this journal starts with some pictures from the time that we spent earlier this year the illustration of the food we had um of the 
branch, the amazing branch we had in Pizza by the Bay. So my aunt's parents, my grandparents were visiting her. I hope she uses this these two pages to kind of fill in her version of you know the time she uh, spent along with us. Um. So similar to my earlier journal. Um. This again has some guidelines and uh, some tips as to how to make most of this journaling experience. I have some inspiration, some songs, some poetry, uh, visual prompts for my aunt and her friend to fill in their stories, their adventures. She has tons and tons of stories and of people she's met, concerts that she's gone to. Shopping in Juna Bazaar and um, weekend getaways to Ali Bagh, Jagat Janjira. Um, I just hope that she uh, feels inspired to fill the pages of this journal with pictures, with collages. These are similar to the ones that I had uh, done for my friends. So these have a place for writing. And they are in the corner of the page so the idea is that you know if there's a heading over here and then if there is text written over here like so this can obviously you know be that additional the extra bit of you know uh, saucy or uh, uh, you know the masala of the information that is not written in the text a picture of all of them another prompt here for um, their travel and escapades and uh, this page i am really happy about you know wish for that they uh, you know make make a list of their favorite songs that in spite of having so much music we keep listening to these songs and um, you know somebody long after none of us are here if they just chance upon this journal it'll uh, be Mm, such an anthropological uh, insight into you know how people live their life you know of young indians what sort of music they listen to where they go to what sort of food they eat um yeah so this next next section is all about uh, food and um it's, it's for them to you know kind of reflect and then uh, think about what are the places that you know they keep returning to no matter and you know when their parents visit or when their cousins visit which are the places that they would definitely take them to so um and also stories about how they discovered um, those places here's a small pocket of uh, kind of for my aunt to kind of you know uh, store uh, any um, addresses that she gets of uh, people supplying organic uh, grain thing which kind of you know maybe there's this artisanal sardo uh, somebody who makes this amazing gruyere cheese in India and um, uh, that are really not known as much and not so commercial and then if, if you know she finds out about these things um, and then she can always keep those things safe over here um, the next page is just a little bit of uh, inspiration for recipes. This is an, an illustration that I done early on during the lockdown. I wrote the recipe down. Fun fact, my aunt at first taught me how to make a mean gazpacho soup. Her kitchen uh, is, is a marvel. It's an architectural marvel. It has everything it's fully functional and one must just see to believe how uh, you know space can be used so beautifully given that Bombay uh, the spaces are really small and um, yeah I thought you know it is such a beautiful work of architecture and interior uh, designing that they must and there, there are such funny incidents associated with it that you know um, it deserves a separate section of at least a piece of its own this is another recipe that I have here 
I have added a couple of some so I hope my aunt also includes a number of her favorite recipes and foods that she likes to eat stuff like that hmm coming to this next section where um, I intend for this uh, and the next few pages to be about uh, their, uh, you know her best breakfast haunts uh, this is a printout of um, uh, the most delicious French toast that I had in Bangalore. This is an illustration of that, and then I added text along with it. Uh, so then, this section, I hope that she adds um, a couple of recipes for putting together um, smoothies and soups, really easy stuff. So this next section that I'm working on is um, intended for fun friends, family, and hence I've used my artwork. Uh, have sections for travel um, she has a dog and um, there is definitely going to be a section for her dog and I'm going to use this artwork that I created early on during the lockdown In that section she can add uh, you know maybe there'll be a flower to keep all the uh, addresses and the numbers of the dog hostels or veterinarians or dog whisperers or you know all in one place she has to have pictures of her and her friends along with her dog and you know her dog with her parents and etc i am sure that there are several other sections that i have missed and i just hope that there'll be enough pages um for example books and movies are such a large part of my aunt's life I'm the biggest agatha christie fan that i have ever come across in my life and um i think i am going to have a section for agatha christie and movies and books i surely hope that before i finish working on this journal i just don't run out of pages and have all these um, sections for all the things that I know matter deeply for my aunt. It is a very rewarding journey, uh, experience to uh, work on somebody's journal and since you've known them uh, or at least observed them or seen them from a distance for many years. Super excited about this journal as you can make out but um, it will definitely require a lot of um, inputs from my aunt. Um, I'm really happy that the lockdown gave me the time to explore and work on some of these ideas and um, make these things for people I really care about. <laughs>